welcome to another episode of Here PEI Videos. Today we're going to talk about pins. I'm wearing a pin that says hard of hearing. I feel that as a hard of hearing person, I have a responsibility to let other people know that I have difficulty hearing. It's a bold step that we've had to take in the last few months. COVID-19 has changed the way we do a lot of our errands. There's plexiglass barriers. People are wearing face masks that cover their mouths, making it very hard to distinguish what somebody is saying. Some people are wearing a shield on top of that. And for each barrier, you're losing your volume of sound. One of the things that you can do is make it a little easier on yourself and do a courtesy to everyone else that you encounter by wearing a simple pin which is a visual reminder to everyone that meets you that you may not always hear what is being said. It saves me from constantly asking people to repeat themselves and I feel I am doing them a favor and also doing myself a favor by letting them know I am hard of hearing. Here at Hear PEI we have a couple of fashion pins such as this one. We have another one that looks like this. That one looks like this. And for those who don't go into flash We've got two classic pins. This one we have been selling for years and this year we introduced a bilingual version. Now many of you may have been may be thinking it's nobody's business if I have hearing loss. I shouldn't have to tell anybody. But if we expect hearing accessibility in businesses, services, doctors offices, banks, then we have to let them know that those services are needed and by staying quiet we can't. Second, you run the risk of people misjudging why you are not reacting quickly enough or appropriately enough to what is being said. If you find yourself saying, I don't understand, could you repeat that? You know that there's a problem. If you simply wore a pin and let people recognize that you can't hear properly. They will automatically face you. They will automatically speak a little bit louder and more clearly and your interactions will be a little bit easier. I, as a member of the Heart of Hearing group that we formed, became aware of the fact that we should be more proactive and we should let people know what our challenge is so that they may talk to us in a manner that we can communicate effectively. Let me tell you what happened a few weeks ago when I was in the grocery store. I was behind a lady. A man was in front of her, an elderly man who clearly did not understand what was being said by the clerk in the store. And he had this slack-jawed look on his face, which to me told me immediately that he couldn't hear properly. People behind me thought he was senile, and there were comments like, who let him out without his caregiver? People were impatient because he was holding up the line because he didn't understand what was being said. He didn't understand what he was supposed to do. I did start to wonder why on earth he would have thought it was more appropriate or much better for people to think that he was senile rather than that he couldn't hear. A lot of people um, with hearing loss feel that um, you know they don't want to admit they have a hearing loss. Um, they might think that it's they have a hearing loss due to the aging process. It's very different than vision. You know, people with vision loss will go out and get two, three pairs of glasses, one in red and one in black. And um, with hearing aids, it's not like that. It tends to be something that many people don't want other people to know. If you can't hear properly, do yourself a favor, advocate for people who have hearing loss, such as yourself, and wear a pin. It's time to be visible. 
Before the epidemic, I never used to wear this type of pin indicating that I'm hard of hearing. Now I do. I find that by wearing this pin, it indicates to the people that I'm talking to that I'm hard of hearing. And I feel that I have a better quality of service because of that. A few weeks ago, I had to go to the hospital for a blood test and I wore my hard of hearing pin. And at the registration desk for the laboratory, the pin was noted, nobody said a word. I then sat and waited my turn. Normally my husband would have come with me, but under the new pandemic measure rules, only people who are having a test are allowed into the hospital. So I was on my own. I sat there. I had no idea who was being called because I couldn't hear a word. And I only knew if my name wasn't called by the person who would get up ahead of me. But then, all of a sudden, very clearly, my name was called out. I think they could hear it all the way to the entrance hall of the hospital. I understood everything perfectly. The entire time that it was my turn for the blood test, I could hear everything that was being said to me. As soon as I was finished and my back was turned, ready for me to leave, the laboratory technician called out the next person's name and I only knew that that person was being called because somebody got up. I couldn't hear it. So, wearing a pin works. Make your life easier. I'm Marie McKenna. I'm hard of hearing. I wear my button mostly every time I go out. Two years ago, I was in Moncton to a hockey tournament with our grandson. And this lady came over and she tapped me on the shoulder and she said, I am so proud of you. She said, I really am proud of you. And I said, excuse me, lady, I don't even know you. And she said, I know you don't know me, but the fact that you wore that pin for her to hear him, my mother and father both are her to hear him, and they would never dare put a pin like that on because they'd scared that somebody would make them feel less uh, a person, that they would have a show on the pin. So anyhow, I told her, that if I didn't have the pin on, I wouldn't be part of a lot of conversations. Hi, I'm Bernard, Marie's husband, and I want to say I'm very proud of Marie for wearing the button. She wears it pretty faithfully all the time. I just want to say that I'm very proud of her. Support Thank her. you. We hope you have enjoyed this episode of Hear PEI videos and that you are ready to take on the challenge of wearing a hard of hearing pin. See you next time. Bye-bye.